Hi guys, welcome back to We in the Woods and I'm saying the Bible verse. Today in Ezekiel, I read chapter 14 and chapter 15. And what I find interesting is pretty much chapter 14, um, all chapter 14 is pretty significant. It's a really strong statement. But what I find interesting is in chapter 14, um, it, this is getting repeated through all chapter 14. And uh, it's chapter 14, verse 14. Even if there were three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they could only save themselves by their righteousness, declares the sovereign Lord. So this is what I find interesting, is that Jesus... Uh, this is the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament, is that Jesus says that you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. And this is what this chapter, um, Ezekiel 14, is talking about. That this is how the Lord God was thinking in the Old Testament. is It talks about the heart, the heart being evil in the wicked ways. And if they come and truthfully repent and ask God to turn their heart around and accept, you know, and walk with God and have, and build a relationship to, with the Lord, then they will go to heaven because they are, they're repenting. They're turning to their old ways and wanting to walk with the Lord. And that's why they mentioned these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, three mighty men who walk with God, who only could save themselves. They couldn't save their sons. They can't save their daughters. They only could save, they can't save their wives. They only could save themselves. Because God wants a personal relationship with you. He wants to walk with you daily. He doesn't, walk, he doesn't just want to walk with you and then let the rest of your family just walk in evilness. In evil ways, and thinking, well, just because your dad's born again, I could do all the evil stuff because I'll still go to heaven. That's not how this is working here. That's not how God describes it. God describes it as it's you. It's you need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ to go to heaven. You need to understand that. A lot of people don't preach that. It's not where you go daily. It's not going to church once a week saving you. It's building up that relationship with God and walking with Him daily. I mean, we're all sinners. Noah, Daniel, and Job were three, they were sinners like us. But they were mighty men of God because they walked with the Lord. They repented when they sinned and asked God, help us with the sin. Help us to return our hearts. Help us to walk more like you. And that's exactly what's so important about the Bible. Is when you read it, it's not just something you read like an average book. This book is life. It's life and love and passion went into the Bible by God's ultimate grace and beauty. Which is so awesome that we have the privilege... 2,000 years later, to be able to read it and to know that we get to go to the kingdom of heaven when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and we get to walk with him. It's not too far. It's never too late to turn your ways, turn your heart around, and accept him and walk with him. The best thing to do is open up your Bible and read it. Don't allow someone else to read it. Don't trust me and just say, well, you're reading it and you're doing a good job. That's not what it is. God wants a personal relationship with you, with the Word, with spending time with you, worshiping the Lord, not in just church, crying out to Him when you need Him, crying out to Him when you're in your happiest and when you're in your loneliest. The only thing that you could go to and read and ask for is the Bible. It's the only thing you're willing to go to. And when you ask God, hey, 
I need help. Can you help me today? He's right there. He's right here right now. Before, as I was reading this, Satan was here too. Trying to put me to sleep. It happens every day. Why? Because Satan never wants me to preach this. But now I got this awesome energy from the Holy Spirit to keep on going. This is what's awesome about God. Is he'll come in and his love and blessing will come upon you. The more you spread his Bible, the more he, you preach, the more you help somebody else in life. Think about that. So I pray this helps you guys today. Pray that this helps you guys to understand. Pick up the, your Bible and read it. Dust it off. Because it's so important. So, love you guys. Hope you guys have a good day. Blessed day. God bless.